What's up YouTube? It's your boy Tim coming back at you with another YouTube video and welcome to TA Vlogs. So for today's video we're gonna have a sneaker review. It's a pair of Nike SBs. I purchased them off of GOAT. Like a lot of you guys I've been doing a lot of online shopping so I usually just browse GOAT and StockX for uh, great prices. I was able to find a pair of Jedi SBs for around $350 but unfortunately they came back fake so I had to replace that shoe with another shoe. So um, right now I got a pair of orange box Nike SBs. They are used and I got them for $180. Here's the box for the SBs. As you know, the shoe is called Orange Box SB, so you know they had to put them in a traditional orange box. Right here, size tag, 11 and a half, uh, Nike Dunk. I'm not gonna lie guys, as soon as this package came in, I did open it. Uh, I was gonna save my first look for you guys, but I had to see them. I wanted to see what condition they were in because the pictures sometimes don't do them justice. I was super gassed to get this shoe as soon as I saw it on the site. Oh. This shoe is sick. This is gonna be my first SB in my collection. Right here, we have the orange box SB. Here we have the orange box right there. It's all over leather, uh, orange leather, tan leather, and white leather. And these are used, guys. I did not get them DS. Um, they do have minor flaws, like little stains in the sock liner. And the original owner did cut down the tongue holder. Um, that's like the biggest flaw it has, but that's okay because I probably would have done the same thing. The insoles are sick. It's stacked with shoe boxes and it has a little guy back there uh, holding all his shoe boxes. Really nice detail. Nike on the back. The tongue is a cloth material and here's the Nike SB tag right here. They did come with an extra pair of black laces, but honestly, I don't think I'm ever going to put the black laces in. They look too good with these white laces. So this shoe came out in 2016 and for it being four years old, um, I would say this is an amazing quality. Um, really no creasing in the toe box, um, no, no scuffs on the leather. Um, like I said, the worst flaw was that there was some markings on the sock liner. And as you can see, the midsole is white and that gets dirty just from wear. They're pretty bright white for being almost four years old. Overall, I'm really impressed with the shoe and I'm really happy I was able to snatch it up for $180. It's a pretty simple shoe, but these orange hits make it stand out. Let's get the on feet shots. So I didn't just order this pair. I did order a pair of Nike Miss Pac-Man Dunks. Um, right now they're at GOAT waiting to be authenticated. As soon as that process is done, they'll be shipped to me. So I should have those in by next week. And I think I got this shoe for a steal price. I can see this shoe rising up in value coming up within the next few months. All right, guys. Well, that's going to wrap up the videos. You guys saw the sneakers. You guys saw the on-feet look. Um, overall, the shoe is beautiful and fits amazing. My normal shoe size is a size 11, but I did go half a size up and uh, they fit perfectly. Make sure to smash that like button and make sure to drop a comment down below what is your first Nike SB in your collection. Don't forget to turn post notifications on so you stay up to date on all my new content. Plus, I will be posting the Nike SB Miss Pac-Man review coming up within the next week. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.